Hello right, everybody, welcome back to DJ Garage episode 6. Today in this episode we're gonna change the transvestite fluid. We don't want any of those chains in my car. So uh step number one, let the, let the car warm up. People do this. Alright everybody, Kai is warmed up to 185 degrees, so apparently it's a, it's a good number. Now uh, we're under the car, got my little socket wrench, 13 millimeter uh, little socket. So let's start loosening the bolts. I'll keep in mind, I'll leave these two bolts up here, tightened, so like this and slant down with the little pan. Just keep and do it, all your troops. Alright everybody, we almost got the pan off, being a bit of a chute right now. Sorry for me on, but the pan going on, this thing stinks! God, this thing smells so bad. We got one bolt up here, but I know when to take out the bolt, you know, big old splash, big old water, water park down here, because all the trees will go boom! Fall on the floor, but... Ah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, everybody. Do you see any metal chunks? Alright buddy, no it's way for this <laughs> to dry. <laughs> but once you're done with that. Oh. We'll be all, we'll be all good. Alright buddy. Now that the pan is off, we're going to be clean. Take out the filter. Take a new one. It's going pretty easy. Alright everybody, use the oil pans pretty much as yeah, good as it's gonna get. But I'm not oil pan can mission pan, but this is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. I had to use this from a bottle zone to a little plastic scraper, so I don't scrape up the pan. But it couldn't get everything, these little black bits around the pan, couldn't get it off. Pretty using metal razor blade, but I didn't put a bunch of big old gashes in the, in the pan, so I just had not to use it anymore. So I'm gonna get one last spray down, wrap it up with the TP, with the and uh, good to go. Make sure you get this on, the, on your hand, it works pretty good. I tell you everybody, this beeping trans best that transmission is such a pain in my crack. I put the beeping pan on, handed everything up, there's one beeping ball on there, it's such a pain in my rear. I said beep you, but I used Tanya Harding, boom, smashed it in there, by the room the threads a little bit, that's okay. 
then I realized, oh shoot, that's in the bunch. Oh, there's a gas still on there. Well, I'm not taking that, I'm beeping that thing up. Hand my crap. So, no beeping gas kit. Oh, kind of sideways. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off again. So, you know, if it leaks, it leaks. I'll start filling it. I'll just keep filling it up every single week. Alright, and now, there's so much beef trains, best that fluid on my on the floor. I got trains, best that fluid, all my beef and hair, and drugs everywhere. I tell you, everyone, you can't end up beef and crack to be a DG gamer. You know what I mean? Beef it, took it down, alright? I'm gonna show you guys how to took it down. Alright, buddy. The thing is, uh, every, uh, all the bolts except one are torqued down. I still got some suspender right here. Oh, well, I'm serious here, buddy. Things just keep on spinning. So that's not a good sign, but I am let it be. Maybe I'm maybe the future come back with some RTV and just let it all up. But <laughs> right now. Oh, shoot. Well, I think the thing, I think the thing done broke, but everything's torqued down 15 four pounds. But uh, no more uh, specs. 120 foot pounds. So I'm. I did this. Releasing the pressure from the transmission. It gives that the gears actually run better. But it leaked a little transmission fluid on the floor. But if I were you, I'd leave uh, it down to 120 foot pounds. <laughs> okay. It's for the beeper car. All right, buddy. I'm gonna start off with four gallons of Dexshot 12. You may need more, you may need, you may need, you may need less. Just watch as you go. But as I said, four gallons is usually a good number. Ooh, look at that, it's nice and red. GG, food, it's pretty good. Oh, everybody! Alright, now that the, everything's in place, everything's short down, the fluid's in, it's all good. Alright, I'll actually real quick. I just drove it, run the mud real quick. Yeah. It's right in the middle of the O, which is like right in the middle. It's where it wants to be, and it should be. But, we're all good. Yeah, I think GG's done pretty much. Pretty much for now. And all that garbage, making sure the car starts. We're done with that garbage. I think uh, next I do the brakes and the rotors because uh, you're driving around the block. Me and my producer, uh, my producer, uh, put it all the way to the floor. It's still touching the carpet and the car is barely even stopping. Uh, but it's all good for now. I'm gonna give it a quick wash and then uh, good to go. Alright, buddy. The car is all good. Uh, it's pretty good now after the wash, so uh, things steady at 205, uh, acting good, looking good, sounds great. It's a smoke show! Alright everybody, thanks for watching BG Garage episode 6. Stay tuned to the next episode, the next secret episode, because uh, that becomes still, I mean. Less important stuff, but it's still good stuff. I got the things I got to do, the weather is good thing, and I'll stay tuned to the brakes and rotors, because that'll be a pretty good job, too. So thanks for watching GG Garage, and I'll see you on your GGGs later.